for Sarah Trayan, home is where the wheels are. Right underneath, actually, just back of center. Four of them on a double axle. It all started with Sarah. She wanted to buy an Airstream, said her friend Wilson Savoy. And I said, don't buy an Airstream. Build you one. Before Savoy, a Grammy-winning musician, could pull a note out of his accordion, Trayan bought a trailer that would become the foundation, so to speak, for the tiny house where she'll live while attending college in Arizona. It was a trailer for towing cars, so the back half of the trailer was tilted down, said Savoy. It was a little bit of a trick. We had to build up that part of the floor. With Savoy as foreman and lead carpenter, construction began August 1st as a community effort. It's been a whole bunch of the local community. A lot of her friends. The Blue Moon crowd, I like to call them, said Savoy, adding the whole process has been on Facebook. You wouldn't believe the amount of excitement people get over that, he said. They just like the idea about building a small house to live in. Downsizing is a growing trend in the U.S., and tiny houses with up to 500 square feet of living space are leading the charge, according to a story on Newsday.com. They range from primitive 96-square-foot huts to award-winning displays of sustainable architecture with elegant streamlined design. While many are built on wheels to avoid regulations, mobility isn't the main draw. Savoy's tiny house is just about ready for the 1,384-mile ride at the end of the month to Tempe, Arizona, where Trayon will attend the Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine and Health Sciences. She's now been educated in home construction. It's so cool, she said. It's something I thought I could never do. I had no experience at all with anything construction I built a picture frame.